It is as Lord Eamon said. The descendants have arrived. Initiating extermination protocol. Destroy all traces of excavation. Activate all defense measures. To the entity who slays the descendants, Lord Eamon will bestow a new body prosthetic and independent persona. Excavation? They really are hiding something. The Volga signal from inside the cave was also very strong. Guide, can you identify anything of significance? I am unable to detect any traces of the Iron Heart or Void Energy from here. However, I am picking up a very familiar face pulse. Uh, definitely. Descendant, please look on the opposite side of the cave. Jaber confirmed there is heavy equipment and high-tech facilities there. The answers will be there. Initiate section containment. Activate high-energy laser defense. The descendant has entered the kill zone. Block all access roads. Initiate attack in a siege formation. Claim the kill. Execute the descendant. Be rewarded through body prosthesis and stone. Partition control function into rows. If you destroy all the controllers, the partition can be manually controlled from this side. Destroy all of them for me. Containment partition has been lifted. The laser traps are on a separate circuit. We can't control it from here, so we need your skills. Reload. Volga's terminal ahead. Connect your receive to the terminal. I'll try to control the decommissioned passageway remotely. Descendant, do you remember the phase shift gate that was at the Prime Hand's ruins? I think I understand that. It seems the waves I can detect are the same as the ones from that base ship gate. 
Are you saying there's a phase shift gate here? I'm pretty sure the gate you mentioned was installed in front of the Hagios Prime hands ruins. It's the only way to enter the ruins, but it's been sealed ever since it was first discovered. And this isn't the ruins. So what is it, really? We should be able to find out soon. The wavelengths become stronger the deeper we go. Gate here. So it really wasn't just a cave. But how the hell did Eamon figure this out? Eamon has been well versed in the details and capabilities of such facilities for a long time. However, there is no time to stand on that. We must find out what information Eamon was able to obtain here. Be careful of the Volgus reinforcements as well. We have started to come through the cave entrance. already excavated and taken several. The damage to the last remaining one here was so severe, it seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had just now. 
That's why there is a jamming signal generated across Hagios. We can use this when attacking. It might come in handy when we face Corel's fleet. Report on the operation. Check on the status of the Ironheart detachment. We're still working on the jamming signal, so our comms won't be able to reach all the way out there. Do you think that strategic planning is eat? Descendant, what's the status of the Hagios operation? We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Vulgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All right, so Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins, and he discovered that the damaged device emitted yeah, quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Just me out of curiosity, what? Hmm. I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. You're back. But at least we have some useful intel, even if it didn't reach us at the right time. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Ironheart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corel's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Vulgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are, are comms back up? Is this Jaber's receive signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? I, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down, and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies, and, and that weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts! Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Vulgus space, cargo trucks. Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> well, sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end. Have you eaten? Damn. Jaber sent me the sit rep. Things have really hit the fan. Oh, you, you asked why I was here. I, I heard the scouts were having a difficult time of it, so I snuck in to make them a warm meal. A kind of surprise event. <laughs> but the real surprise was prepared by Corel. <laughs> God damn it! He seems, he seems like someone with no table manners. <laughs> uh, so, no change there. Anyway, the, uh... <clears throat> The Volgus passed through this way not long ago with a convoy of cargo trucks loaded up with a ton of stuff. When I tracked the convoy with the scouts, we found some kind of Volgus forward base. It, it, it looked like it had been built in a hurry, but the security was no joke. What's worse, there was a commander-level Volgus. With heavy armor and high-powered weapons, he chased us, the bastard, and when we called for backup, there was no response. We ended up 
fighting for several days while being totally surrounded when suddenly a beam of light appeared from somewhere near the ruins. Maybe that fat ass commander was also distracted by the beam of light because he stopped attacking and we were able to retreat. Just. By the time we managed to regroup, the only ones of us left were Dominic here and me. Had I known what would happen, I, I, I would have brought my friends more than just a meal. It was, it was her last supper in the end. Which is why, if you're going to that Volgus forward base now, you need to let Dominic and me tag along. They flipped the table in front of the chef, and it's time to teach them some real table manners. Also, if you want to prevent them from getting the Ironheart, you're gonna need more people. Dominic will show you the way to the forward base. Let's head there and turn up the heat. Uh, why do more and more people keep getting involved? Twenty-two recon squad awaiting mission. Nice to meet you. My name's Dominic. I'm a scout accompanying Blair. In order to get to the Volga's forward base, you have to secure this area first, as it's our main route. There's also a number of important additional tasks to do. Blair's already familiar with this terrain. I'll fill him in on the mission separately. You'll need to follow the instructions given by the recon squad. Or what's left of it, anyway, as Zachary and I are the only ones who survived. Anyway, good luck. Oh, by the way, I heard from Zachary. His troops were hit pretty hard, but I heard you took the enemy to task and helped Zachary get his own back. Thanks for that. And Blair, your meal was also very tasty. I feel like I always owe you descendants something. When this battle is over, I'll buy you a drink in Albion on behalf of my entire team, I promise. Dominic, that's what you call a death flag right there. Soldiers are superstitious, you know that. Okay, then, I'll bake you a pie or something after the war is over. Not even you can top my mother's recipe. <laughs> Keep it up, you joker. Them's fighting words right there. Just ignore the hairball, Dominic. Descendant, collect the data from the recon drones. We'll use it to pinpoint the enemy's location. If that data isn't collected quickly, it will be lost. You have to hurry.
Confirming data transfer. I'll analyze the enemy's position and relay it to all operating personnel. Blocking all movement to our target point. We need you to break through. The supplies are Kuiper ore secured by the enemy. You need to quickly destroy all Kuiper which has already been exposed to Volgus energy. Strategic point has been secured and the enemy supply network has been dealt a heavy blow. Great work. Something with the Volgus, please. <laughs> They're heading your way. Exercise caution. We've detected bulkous signals coming from inside. Watch out for any possible ambushes that may be waiting for you. There's a substantial force stationed here as well. Reload. Loading.
Defense Commander Beggs. Relaying orders. Stop the descendants. Prove your loyalty and achieve new glory. And that voice. It sounds like the Volgus commander who attacked us. Is that right, Dominic? You would be correct. It is my greatest wish to be rid of that bastard. Great work out there. Good. Now that we've gained control of this much of the area, I think we can start attacking their base directly. I've marked where to regroup. Let's get moving. I wish we could find some clues on how to access the Prime Hand.